Hey, on this video, we're going to talk about QNAP's TPU. What is it? Do I need one? And how do I install it? So what is it? The uh, T TPU <laughs> is actually the very similar to GPU. So it's a uh, graphics, uh, similar like graphics card, which you would normally insert in your uh, PC. So you boost your either gaming or your Plex server uh, performance. This is uh, something they created that uh, has artificial intelligence in mind. So if you are using uh, QU Maggi or Snow G's Moments, you'll uh, notice that there is a face recognition, object recognition, things like that involved. And in QNAP, they even got surveillance um, QVR Pro where they can do people counting and detecting um, what people are doing. This is uh, all done by artificial intelligence chip. So instead of asking CPU, the processing unit, to actually work hard and try to figure these things out. Uh, um, Google created a card actually to do these things. So this will uh, take off the strain from your CPU because um, the, the, this little chip, this card will take care of it. Um, so you will find these uh, um, chips or these adapters in a USB shape. You can plug it in through the USB. Or if you have M.2 ports, you can do M. Uh, you can install it through M.2 card uh, or PCIe slot with a card. So this is what it is. Uh, that's good. Do I need one? That, that's the question. And um, if you are a photographer, probably you will need something like this because um, if you have thousands of thousands of photos and you want to actually easily organize these photos, so organized by people, organized by places then uh, if you are shooting hundreds of photos every day, it's going to take a long time to actually uh, index all these files and detect what is seen in those photos and categorize these things. The other th uh, thing you could use it for is uh, surveillance because you can use it for QVR face, QVR human. It will actually uh, take again strain off the CPU. It will detect the faces, detect the humans in videos, not just photos. And obviously for home users, if uh, they got uh, a really weak NAS, uh, which uh, doesn't have much of CPU power. Then if they add this uh, unit, this uh, booster, then uh, it will speed up the um, photo indexing and, and uh, artificial intelligence related uh, things. So there's there are some tests QNAP have done. They can see that uh, without any uh, uh, chips, they got uh, 60,000 um, uh, photos indexed and uh, thumbnails generated. Uh, around 19,000, then they used um, uh, so the, the chip and they got up to 75,000 uh, face recognitions. They added object recognition thanks to this card as well, which, which went up to 52,000 of those in one hour. And um, it managed to find similar photos actually as well. And that goes up to 900,000 <laughs> an hour. That's that's really um, a really good thing to see. And also you can see here in CPU, it goes down to 30, 50% maybe, because all of the hard work is done on this chip. So CPU doesn't need to work as hard. Um, so let's uh, move on. So if I decided if I need one, how do I do it is then? So you can connect through the USB or M.2. If you have something like 73A series or um, um, whatever series comes with M.2 slot, uh, then you can uh, put that uh, chip in, in, in those slots. If you don't have that, but you have PCIe slot, for example, you can get a card, a QM2 2P244A card, where you can actually add uh, up to four of these uh, uh, M2 adapters. And uh, if you don't have M.2 slots, if you don't have PCIe slot, then you can uh, go for USB. That, that, that's something what's going to be found on every single NAS. So this is how you can boost your NAS. So once you have connected, you can go to control panel uh, and you will see that in hardware section that, that there is no option for TPU pro uh, priority. So you can uh, choose either is um, one, two, three, four, depends like how many apps will be accessing it. So you can limit these things. Then when you go to multimedia console, there is going to be new uh, tab available, AI engines, and then you can actually see that uh, how this is going to be used for face, facial recognition, object recognition, or similar similar photo recognition. So this has been a video about this 
artificial intelligence chip for uh, your uh, photos or surveillance and how to do that and um, if you've got any questions you can always go to NASCompares, fill the form, ask the question or send email to info NASCompares and if the question will be interesting we can shoot a video like this and help others as well. Cheerio!